Welcome, welcome to Are You Determined to Grow? This is your host, Prophetess Denise Kelly. We're going to get started here in just a few minutes. We're going to let everybody in. May God be glorified in this house. May God be glorified in this house. God is amazing, God. I just pulled in from Dallas, and we about to get this thing started, so I apologize for the lateness. So we're going to, um, we're going to, I'm going to pray us in today. And we're going to turn it over into the hands of praise and worship. I'm also trying to get my little Zoom back up online. So I just want everybody to know that God is good all the time. And his mercy endures forever. So whenever you're thinking about the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, then you know that your soul cries out, hallelujah. And you thank God for saving you. Amen, 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 amen. Can y'all hear me? Somebody give me a thumbs up. I ain't get no thumbs up. I pray on then. Y'all gonna be okay, okay. All right then. All right. I'm gonna say this thing turned down low. I'm looking at everything. Okay, let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity one more time to come before you. Oh God, this is your meeting. This is all about you. We surrender every aspect of it to you. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise because you are worthy. We love you, God, and give you glory and praise. We pray for every member here, Lord God, every family member, Lord God, in our extended family. We're praying for health and wealth in our house, Lord God. We're praying a hunger for your word. Lord, we love you so much, and we appreciate you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise and worship. Matter of fact, hold on before you start. Let me go to pass over. Let me pass over. Let me, let me. Okay, so how do I? Let's see. Make the host. Okay, I'm try I'm putting you as the host. I already okay. started. I started recording, so. Okay. I can stop it, though. Why you got to stop it? We don't know. But go ahead. Okay. It's on you, Sid. <laughs> God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Um, mm. There's so many things that uh, I have to be thankful for. Um, in regards to what God is doing in my life and people, families, family life, church, everyone, um, people that I've um, connected to. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to sing it's, it's a few verses. I'm just going to meditate on just certain things of it. Okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. We give you honor, glory. We give you honor. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name. Your name is strength, 
Your name is power, a strong tower makes me say, oh, 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 nobody like you, Lord, nobody like you, Lord, everybody say, oh. a provider. You're my provider, Lord. You're my provider, Lord. Everybody say, oh. Oh. There's nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Amen, sir. I know I could get us started, y'all. I know it. All I need is a God like this. Mm. Who wouldn't serve a God like this, y'all? Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Well, well. Come on, y'all. You are my glory. Oh, my glory. Hallelujah. But who wouldn't serve? You are my glory, Lord. Yes. Yes, Father. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. That just seemed like it needed just a little bit more linger. I just I just want to give y'all just a little bit of a, a linger. You know, how when you walk into a room and there's a, yeah. a mist in the room. There was there was a mist coming out and I just I felt like it just needed just a little bit of a little wind. Let's blow a little wind up in here. Amen. Make it Amen. easy to see that word. Amen. 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 So we have in the house, in the house, y'all, we got another fabulous teacher 
a man of God, a man of God. We're missing a man of God. Somebody text him. Man of God. That's getting ready to lay down that word. Don't nobody go ahead right now. I'm going to warn you ahead of time. Go ahead and get you some band-aids. If you need some gauzes or different things of that nature, just get ready. Go ahead and say, ouch. Come on, everybody say it with me. Ouch. Before we even get started. Ouch. Ouch. That's what I'm talking about. We're about to turn it over into the hand I feel it's the head of the man to come to water, but okay. Anyway, at that my my head is out there, y'all. But uh, <laughs> we're, gonna <turn> it over. <laughs> we're gonna turn it over to the hand of our teacher for tonight, um, evangelist teacher. We we don't get caught up in titles. We just know that we do what God said do. Amen. Uh, Amen. Richard, we're gonna give it over to Richard. Amen, amen. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> yeah, good, good. Well, you know, I'm not even going to try to preach the house down or nothing. I'm going to just talk from my heart, really. You know, <clears throat> honestly, I'm just going to do it like that. And uh, last week, God told me, you know, what to talk about. So if I have to give it a title, it's going to be, well, I have a question. Um, What does it mean? For, for God to be with us. What does it mean for God to be with you? What is your concept of God is with me? I need some answers. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, this is each person's individual. Meaning. Yeah. What, what is your concept? When you think God is with me or when you hear God is with you, what, what is your, yeah, what comes to mind? What comes to my mind is um, just a, a peace and knowing that um, I'm not by myself, I'm not alone, that um, no matter where I'm at, no matter what I'm dealing with, that he is, he's always there. Um, so it, for me, that's like a, a peace and joy um, that's, those are the two things that I can say when I think about God being with us or with me, um, since I'm individualizing it right now. That's what I got. What I got, what I get, he's the champion, all powerful, almighty. He's my big brother. He's my father. He, he's with me. My protection provider. He's my all in all. Amen. Shanana, don't make me start calling folks out. Shanana. I just truly believe that um God being with me. They already know said a lot, which was marvelous. But he just a marvelous way maker. I can give him a hundred different titles, hundred thousand, hundred million. If I had ten thousand tongues, I couldn't thank him enough. So basically I agree with them too. Amen. 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 Anybody else wanna go at it? Before I start getting into scriptures, Denise, I know you probably have a concept. Yep. I do have a concept, but I'm going to let you go ahead. But when I think okay. of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, I thank God for saving me. Amen. 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 God with us. You know, that's one of the promises uh, that we have. He said it over and over and over and over and over and over. 
And uh, <clears throat> I wanted to go over some scriptures, you know, that, that cover those exact words. I will be your God and you're my people and I'll be with you. But it, 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 if it falls in different contexts when he says it sometimes. And the different contexts in which it falls can help shape our understanding of all the things that it means for God to be with us. Because it's across the board. It's across the board. So the first uh, thing that it means is his divine presence. Of course, you know, he is with us. And one of the scriptures that deal with that is Joshua 1.9. These are going to be some familiar scriptures, but in some of these scriptures, I'm going to point out certain things. So Joshua 1 and 9, anyone can read any scripture at any time. Um, I can read them all. Actually, I'm going to Joshua 1 9. If let me know when you guys are there. And I and I'll proceed. Because God being with me is what has gotten me to this very moment now. So, but a lot of us, you, you know, I, I don't want to start, you know, throwing stones or nothing like that. I want to get into scripture and more or less shape understanding rather than throw stones. So let me know when you're at Joshua 1 9 and, you know, cool, cool. Um, Joshua 1 9 states, Have I not commanded thee? This is King James Version. Um, be strong and of a good courage. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed, meaning don't be confused as a man. What, what's going on? I don't even understand. For the Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. That's the promise. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Um, Since it hit my mind, I'm going to go ahead and say it. It's like uh, Vanessa, I, I forget his name. Your husband, what's your name? Vanessa's husband? Gary. Gary, yeah, I think he said big brother or something like that with me or something like that. That's 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 part of the concept because that's that's the protection, you know. But let me go on to the next scripture. Isaiah 41 10 is the next scripture. Isaiah 41 10. You remember Joshua 1 9 said. I am with you. He said, don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. Be strong, even. And of a good courage, because I'm with you wherever you go. Isaiah 41.10. Again, don't be afraid, because I'm with you. Again, same thing. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. Then he says, I will strengthen you. I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. One of the things that it means for God to be with us is just the fact of big brother being there. I call him my big boy. You know, I have big boys with me. Legit, I have some big boys with me. I ain't got to worry about nothing. Do show up right on time. They have before every time. That's what I mean by God being with us, man. His divine presence is there. His, his awareness of your situation is there. Which means he knows everything you need. He, he hears everything. He sees everything. Everything. He's there. Another thing that it means for God to be with us is protection and guidance. Again, uh, our big boy, my big boy. But the scripture is 23.4 of Psalms. Let me get to it real quick. Let me know when you guys are ready. I'm just gonna cover, I'm just gonna cover the awareness of what it means for because we forget. 
we don't forget. I don't know how to word it. I, I can speak for myself. When when things are going crazy, I have a tendency to forget that God is with me. I have to say it like it is. Yeah, I do. Um, Psalms 23, 4. Y'all ready for this one? Amen. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, again, I will fear nothing. Why? Because you're with me. Your rod and your staff, they help me. If anything, is com if anything comes at me, you're going to raise up a standard. Without him being there, I'm subject to this stuff myself. Without, without him being my filter. Again, talking about God being with us, man. The hmm. next scripture, Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43, verse 2. Let me know when you guys are ready for me to read it and I'll go ahead. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon you. I'm sure we can all think of another case where this actually happened. Yeah, y'all, y'all I mean will this actually happen? Shadrach, Meshach, and a and a bad Negro. <laughs> and that bad Negro. Yeah. <laughs> this actually happened. Yeah, it actually happened. I'm gonna go ahead and go on, man, because I'm not trying to take up too much time. Because this is just what I'm feeding on right now in my own life. So, so far as divine presence of him being with us, protection and guidance, though. And guidance. Let me go on to the next scriptures. Because I'm ready to open up for um some input. Uh, the next thing uh, that it would mean would be support and comfort. For God to be with us, support and comfort. Genesis 28, 15. And behold, I am with thee, and I will keep thee in all places where you go, and I'll bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee until I have done everything that I've told you. I'm not going to leave until I have kept every promise I have placed in your heart. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know, man, about y'all, but his promises drive me every day. No jokes. His promises are what caused me to get up, not wake my eyes up, but cause me to get up with some energy and, and have a purpose to my day. His promises drive me. Give me purpose. And he told me he's not going to leave me until it's all done. I mean, I have vision in my heart that's been given to me from God. I can't speak from any, for anyone else, but I know he's given us each a work. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He's not going to go nowhere until he has completed what he has said. The hope that he has given you in your heart, he's not gonna leave you until he brings that hope to pass. And Hebrews 13.5. Let me get to it real quick. 
This is one uh, another one of my good ones that I feed on. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with whatever you have. Again, because he said, I'm never going to go nowhere, nor am I ever going to leave you. Again, this one is talking about support and comfort. Support, whatever you need, because he's with you, he's going to provide. These, this is basic one-on-one -on -one stuff, right? But when we get in the situation, sometimes we have a tendency to forget. We have a tendency to get caught up in the situation as if he's no longer with us. It's the truth. And the last thing I want to talk about as far as him being with us is the covenant relationship. He's not with us unless we're in covenant with him. Is everyone aware of the covenant relationship that we have with God? The covenant. Does everyone know what covenant means? It means agreement, to put it simply. An agreement. A contract. A mutual agreement, even. Both parties have a part in the agreement to meet, you know, to rather, you know, yada, yada. Okay, all right. Okay, so amen. So him being with us is because of the covenant that 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 he that we have in, into with him. Jeremiah 31 and 33 is the scripture that I want to use with that. If I could find it. Jeremiah, someone else can read it if they get it before I find it, because I, for some reason, can't find it. Is it 31 and 3? 31, 33? 31, 33. Okay. Oh, here yeah. it is. Go ahead. Okay. Um, this is the NIV version. This is the covenant I will make with the people of Israel. After that time, declares the Lord, I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. Amen. Ezekiel 37, 27. I guess your husband can get that one since the household is reading. <laughs> okay, you said Ezekiel 37 and um 27. 37. Where's Ezekiel? Why is it so hard to find? <laughs> Sorry. Here you go. Read such as uh, my dwelling place will be with them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Amen. 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 Simply put, it's, it's just simple stuff. It's really, it's not deep. It's not hard. It's really simple. You know, you, you don't have to be deep. You know, it's just simple. The fact that God is with you is guarantee of everything that we need. You know, that's that. It just, just how, when, and when things start going crazy and looking goofy to my mind, you know, I have to, I have to remind myself that God is with me. So in summary, when we speak of God being with us, it, it, it encompasses uh, his presence, his protection, his guidance, his support, and the assurance of a covenantal relationship. Amen. I don't want to take up too much time. I just, you know, God with me because the things that what I'm going through right now, I need to know that. You know what I'm saying? He is he is with me. You know, he is with me. He's not going to let my situation hit the ground and just be destroyed. He will catch me. You know, he, he is raising up a standard right now. You know, things are actually getting better. And, you know, you know, things are working out. So... Yeah, so the fact that God is with me, and I, I I haven't been perfect, but it's okay. He's still being faithful. He's still being faithful. 
He's still been faithful. So I just wanted to just, God is with me. I can't speak for y'all. God, unless y'all in the covenant. Y'all in the covenant with them? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, he with y'all too. Yeah, that's what it means for God to be with you. That's that's, you that's all year yeah. we've been focusing on that. 23. God is with us. God, God is, is with, with us. us. 23, 23, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, Amen. Thank you for, for bringing that to the... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and finish talking. Sorry. I, I am done? done. I am finished. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a miracle. No, just kidding. <laughs> Miracles happen every day. Um, okay. <laughs> every day. Well, that was good. Um, yeah. Just the... Just it's funny that you brought this out because... I think even um, Denise and I went to this uh, gospel women gospel thing at Friendship West Baptist Church or something. And that one of the songs someone sung was about God being with us. And I was like, Denise, 23, God is with us, you know, whatever. But it's just a um, it's just a reminder of knowing that he he is with us and just knowing that. Um, man with him by our side we can we can handle whatever it is because god is we're allowing god to kind of if we allow him to move and do for us um that we can have a peace of knowing that he's he's got it whatever it is what however it works out you know this is this is the way it was supposed to be whatever it comes out to be and we just have to trust god you you know I don't know what I'm doing, but you do. So that's, hey. that's exactly it. That's exactly it. Yeah. So I'm that's gonna let it. you do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. God is with us. That's a good word, uh, Rich. I like Joshua one and nine. I like all the scriptures you you your name, Isaiah 43 and 2. Isaiah. 41 and 10, Psalm 23 and 4, Genesis 28 and 15, Hebrews 13 and 5, Jeremiah 31 and 33, Ezekiel 37 and 27. I will meditate on these words in Scripture. Amen? Amen. Thank you. Every day, every day. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Miss Shanana Kelly. Oh, I was just going to say it's a wonderful thing to know that God is always with us. He promises that as he had brought across one of the scriptures. Can't remember exactly which one. But also that with him being with us, we know that he will comfort us as we walk through the shadow of the valley of death. We will fear no evil. And also with him being with us, he have given us the strength to come up against and conquer anything. And long as we know that he are with us, we shall not fear. So I go back to the Bible. It says 365 times or 363, if I make no mistake, do not fear. Do not fear. Do not fear. Do not fear. It was laid on my heart to tell everybody, um, which I know we all know this, that we're all going through things. Um, not only this particular time, we have a spiritual warfare more than ever. Some of us, I can speak of on me. And also is that everyday life is just God is with us. And so we're always remembering that God is with us. A lot of people feel like that my life is so effortlessly or like I don't worry about stuff or things don't bother me or you can just say anything to me and I'm good just because my face says it don't mean I can wear everything so a lot of things I go to God because I know he with us and put it at the altar and it's sometimes it's good to do and to remind the next fellow instead of you know burden people because we all have our own burdens that we're gonna have to bear which we don't mind being being burdened, 
or praying together. Sometimes, me, myself, personally, before I go to a human, I go to him. So that's another thing that's good about knowing that God is always with us. Amen. You, you know what? <clears throat> I was, uh, I saw this. It was something I was watching on TV. It was one of them YouTube videos. And uh, the, they were at this creek. These people were at this creek. I think they were fishing. And this big old brown bear was full speed ahead across that creek at these people. Boo, 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 you know, whole body shaking, full all strength, running at these people. And these people stood there. Man, if y'all would have seen it, y'all would have tripped out. But this big old bear, full speed ahead, doo, doo, coming across this thing towards these people because they was out there fishing. And all they did was, ah! You know how they say, yell at the bear, right? And hold up. This bear didn't stop running until it got from me to this wall in front of me. I mean, full speed ahead, it didn't stop until it got about three, five feet away from him. Stop that with that, all right? And they didn't move. They was, oh, these white people, and these white people, so that's what they say do. But it worked this time. The bird stopped and turned around and went on about his business. Craziest thing I ever saw. However, now, before I say what I'm going to say, after, let me say what I was going to say before I was going to say that. That's what, what we got to be like when we know God is with us. Things come full speed ahead. I'm telling you, I'm speaking from experience right now. Full speed ahead, man. All your sensory organisms telling you this stuff is coming. But you're supposed to stand there and know it ain't going to touch you. Because God is with you. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm exercising right now. Another analogy I would use, you know, you stand on a track train coming. This train ain't going to stop, but you're supposed to believe it's going to stop. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing to help me give me the concept, conceptualize it. Okay. But this is the joke. <laughs> That's the truth. This is the joke. I saw another video. A dude was on these mountains, and he had happened to have a, a one of them GoPro cameras on, and this bird didn't stop. <laughs> He was, oh, 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 oh. that bro was trying to get at him, you know. <laughs> it was getting at his legs and everything. He kicked it down. I think the bird must have fell like 20 feet down. But that bird didn't stop. That's the joke. But, you know, we're supposed to, with God, you know what I'm saying, believe that every time this bird going to stop. And we know sometimes these birds don't stop, though. You know what I'm saying? But we got to trust the fact, man. That even though this 5,000 million pound burr bulldozing toward me, I got to believe he ain't going to touch me because God is with me and he's not going to let nothing harm me that ain't supposed to. Amen. God with me. Amen. Uh, about that bear video, I think I know what you're talking about. But it's like crazy. <laughs> yeah, with with a brow bear, brow bears usually do like bluff charges, and uh, if you run away from it or get scared, they're going to attack you. So that's why that bear probably stopped like about five feet once they see yeah. that it wasn't moving. Yep, that first one did stop, Caleb. That second one was trying to get at him. He was yelling. It, it turned. It went from an ah to make him stop to ah. I tried to kick him off of him. <laughs> Amen. Amen. This has been an amazing. This has been amazing today. Everything that was said. Uh, so what you got to say, Miss Denise and Mr. Caleb, what did you get from the thing? Mr. Caleb, he got the bear. Go ahead, Caleb. Thank you. God is with us at all times and do not be afraid. Even the things coming at you at speeds that you can't react.
Amen. Amen. This is this is amazing. I just, oh man, I just can't even imagine. I can't begin to tell y'all the things that's been going on, but all I know is this. God is with me everywhere I go. Y'all remember that old song? With me everywhere I go, no matter what I do. I probably made up the song, Vanessa, while you're looking confused. I probably did. You know I do that every you know night, man. <laughs> it says take the Lord along with you, just in case you try to figure out which song I was talking about. Everywhere you go, take the Lord along with you. Everywhere you go. Okay. So, man, if we really got a hold of that thing, to understand that God is really with us, Everywhere we go, if we don't go nowhere, he is with us. I mean, what a powerful and magnificent force we would be. But the enemy is always trying to. I'm not going to re-preach the message, Richard. I know you're looking at me. I'm not going to re-preach it. I promise. <laughs> and we just got to grasp a whole look. Just a little bit, just to realize how powerful our God is. We would be a formidable force. The enemy would hate us. I know he hates me. I mean, but he literally be like, dang, they done got together again. What the heck? And God would look up over his, that's my child. That's my children over, that's my child. That's my children. Anyway, God is with us. There are many times that I felt closer to God. And a lot of times it was when I was by myself. When the whole world presses upon you and you're like, oh my God, I can't handle this. And then the still small voice that didn't come in the earthquake, that didn't come in the wind, but came in the still small voice and told me, I'm with you. It makes a difference. That's why it's important for us to steal away. We didn't really know what they were talking about when they say steal away, steal away. Yes, I'm all in the music today. Steal away, home. I ain't got time to stay here but we didn't really understand what they meant they were talking about we need to get to a place and position for god to be with us it's not that he's not with us but it's not it, even though we know god is with us but it's an opportunity for us to become aware that he's with us and so this is a this is a powerful lesson i loved all of it especially that covenant relationship, that contract. You know, uh, we, we don't know nothing about this, but the rich folks, they, they have like these contract marriages, you know, where there's some stipulations. If you don't give me a child after five years, I can divorce you kind of stuff. Or we these kind of relationships where they marry two families together for business purposes. You, you know what I'm talking about. But we got a covenant relationship with God and guess what sometimes I know Richard said it's agreement between a mutual agreement between us but sometimes we don't hold up our ears uh oh let me quit before I get started sometimes we don't hold up our ears but it don't change anything God still loves us he still is with us so that's what I got out of God's with us and all the scriptures were amazing. Amazing. So, wow. I don't know what happened to Benoit. Are you let people in? Ain't nobody there? Okay. All right then. So, um, this has been amazing. This is a, this is a little bit short today. Anybody have uh? uh Ooh, I feel like we should just pray out on that right there. Because you know that some seeds fall by the wayside, some fall in the stony ground, some fall. Mm. 
Don't get me started. <laughs> but the world chokes it out of us sometimes. I almost feel like I don't want the world to check anything out. So, uh, but I'm gonna open it up one more time. Uh, anybody with any final additional comments? Then uh, we're gonna have Brother Gary to pray us out, and uh, then we'll ask. Then Caleb will have a question for us. Amen. Amen. You ready? Yep. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Can't thank you enough. Thank you for the things that you've done for us. Thank you for the things that you're doing right now and the things that you're going to do. Hallelujah. We look and give you praise for it right now. Thanking you in advance. Thank you, Father, for deliverance. Thank you, Father, for uh, 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 handling the court cases. Thank you, Father, for handling that, 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 that wife, that girlfriend. That, thank you, Father God, for handling that mess I, I, I got myself into. Thank you, Father, for taking care of business. Thank you, Father, for showing up, showing up and showing out. Thank you, Father, that you're a good, good father. That's who you are. Thank you, Father, that you're a man to your word. Oh, Father, that the Bible says he's not a man that he should lie. The Bible also said that God cannot lie. If he said it, he's going to do it. He's going to bring it to pass. He'll begin a good work in us. He's able to carry it out, to complete it to the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Thank you. We thank you, Father, being our shepherd. We shall not want. Oh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Jesus, Amen. 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 It's all God. Oh, go ahead, Caleb. <laughs> Let him move. Let him have his way, Sean. All right. Amen. Amen. I have a question. Yes. Are you determined to grow? grow. Amen. May God bless you and keep you is my prayer. I will post this within the next couple of days. Anybody that is, everybody that wasn't here really, um, God love you and keep you. And um, no Sunday school and no, no Wednesday. And no Wednesday. Okay, gotcha. The, out this next week. So y'all okay. get, y'all prepare, get ready. Get yourself together for the following week. All right. Love you guys. Me too. God bless y'all. God bless you. Me too. Yeah.